I get up every morning and I feel like I'm making a difference or I'm making my workplace a better place. Helping the guys out where you, where you can, uh, trying to achieve uh, a better workplace. Fighting for everyone, especially those who don't, don't want to or don't have the ability to fight for themselves. Sticking up for the workmates' rights, giving it the bosses. Representing your uh... Your fellow members uh, being their mouthpiece. Representing your members in your depot. To let them know about their rights and um, conditions in the workplace. The knowledge you can share and you can represent people and be a good leader. Mateship and uh, sticking it to management, I reckon. Getting to spend a bit of time with um, people, getting to know your workforce. Oh, I to have the interaction with the blokes and the, and the employees, employers and then try to change the system for, for the better for everyone. Being able to help my members to actually enact their rights at work and to stand up against management. Having a positive outcome at a depot level and so in the flowing uh, winds from that. Getting uh, louvers and the mill room at Lickham fixed up. I managed to uh, get us what we now call the Tar Taj Mahal, it's a new mill room at Goulburn. Gaining 100% membership at the depot that I work at was a, was a big deal. Helping to maintain our conditions in the last DA as part of the negotiating team. I think that I've gathered more support and more participation from the members at Central. To initiate a change at Leffington, uh, which is a troublesome depot. Getting the non-qualified 48 class drivers uh, qualified to the second person's stage so they can get up on the loco and share in the overtime the qualified blokes are getting. Seeing the members come together for the EA negotiations. You don't trust what the management say until you really get down the nitty gritties of what's got to be done. Well, if you come to work and do what you're supposed to do and um, keep your nose clean, the department's happy with you. Don't be complacent. It's back to the bosses and management, you, you know, they can't be trusted. The importance of meeting with management. Very good communication to the members in the workforce. That's the best thing they want. They want to know what's going on around them. We have to do more work to make this young agenda understand what's the meaning of solidarity and unionism. It's always good to triple check and check with your other co-workers and stuff before you take things on, so that you know that you're definitely going down the right path. More interaction with the blokes, it'd be good if the, the blokes come on board and give more feedback on what they need changed and what they see as the, the future going forward. The more input we get, the better, better workplace it'll be for a lot of us. The union continues to be more and more important than something I've, I've found in my working life. Making sure everyone's a member, everyone's informed, communication. Make sure you keep your members well informed of what you're doing yourself. We've just gone through a, an EA negotiation that hasn't gone to everyone's liking. Our management that have got no, absolutely no idea of our industry, all they are is a manager trying to uh, drive down costs. We've got a lot of challenges ahead of us with the privatisation and the, uh, the stuff that's happening in the organisation. Misinformation on social media. Doing the EA over the last 12 months, I've got greatest satisfaction out of doing that. Bring aboard the new blood in the depots to ensure that the workload is spread. The single biggest challenge is the legislation or the political system at the moment. Educate the new generations to understand what are the impacts if they don't be united, what are the impacts they are going to face in a later stage. Keeping uh, the members enthusiastic for the common like fight for our rights. Oh, I think the biggest challenge we've got with our job right now is uh, casualisation. The influx of labour hire definitely are in our depots. The reason we've got a good job is because of the interaction of our forefathers, what they fought for. I think if we just continue on their legacy and just continue forward with and keep a good strong workforce, it'll keep us in a good position, a good safe workplace.